Tonight, Western New Yorkers gathered in Cheektowaga to voice their opinions on potential changes that could come to our area's mail system. Yeah, just last month, the United States Postal Service announced that some operations could be moved down the highway to Rochester. Our Andy Payton was there and has the story. 150 miles. I mean, it's, it's really ridiculous. That's how far a letter would have to travel, even if you're just sending it to your neighbor. What we are discussing today is taking the service out of our public postal service. If a proposed plan by the U.S. Postal Service goes through. I don't understand why we just cannot update the current system that we have right now and keep the current employees at their facility. Last month, as a part of a $40 billion nationwide investment aimed at modernizing mail delivery, the Postal Service announced it is considering transferring some of its William Street operations to Rochester, meaning all mail coming into the Buffalo area would first have to go through there. We do not anticipate any changes to residential and business time of delivery. The Postal Service claims residents won't notice a difference. These changes will make our process more efficient and dependable. And would save them $3 million a year locally. Mail will continue to be processed and delivered in two days. But residents don't buy it. It appears as if Buffalo is an afterthought. And it's what caused more than 100 strong to show up tonight in protest. These are human beings who work and punch the clock just like the rest of us. Demanding the distribution center and the jobs within it stay in Buffalo. This plan to move Buffalo's processing and distribution center is dead on arrival in Western New York. Now, as we said, this is just a proposal and all of this is still under review. But for those who are unable to attend tonight's meeting, you can still make your opinion heard online Line. We'll have a link to that submission form on our website, WGRZ.com, and the deadline for that is March 13th. On your side in Cheektowaga, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.